Hello friends and welcome back. In this third screencast, I'm going to show you how to save, how to publish, and how to collaborate on a Storybird. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you that I have, I've made a few changes to my story. I uh, changed some of the pictures and I added some text and I even changed the title. I call it Swing Bunny. It's about a, sw a bunny who loves to swing and he swings so much that his friends call him Swing Bunny. And then some fox come and they find the swing and they like it too. And eventually, if I write, if I write the whole story, I'm going to write about how the fox um, try to take Swing Bunny's swing and what Swing Bunny does to solve the problem. Okay, but for now, I'm going to show you how to save and then go back into your book. So you click over here on Menu and you click Save and Close. And what that does is saves your um, version of your story and it goes into that U tab in your unpublished Storybirds. And then if you log out, everything gets saved and you, when you log back in, you just jump in. There's that blue button, Storybird Blue, jump in. And when you click jump in, it goes right back to where you left off. So that's called Save and Close. And it is on the menu button, the third choice. The second choice is to invite someone to your story, and that is the, one of the best feature of Storybird, I think. So I'm going to invite somebody from one of my classes to work on this book with me. I'm going to click here on Invite Someone, and I am going to invite someone from my class, and it is going to be, let's see, I am going to someone from my class and I'm going to invite uh, it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna invite anyone and I can put a little message right here that says and I'm gonna write I started this book would you like to write with me Oh, there's a bell. <laughs> and so then I, I, I read over what I wrote in the invitation and I click invite again. Down, I click invite down here at the bottom. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to click right here. Look, this is my U tab. Do you see this right here from Julia Burns? Julia, that's not her real name. Julia Burns has switched turns with me on the day, I believe. And so if I click on it, it goes right into the story but I'm going to go back. That's her book. So you'll see your message that you send to somebody to help uh, work on a book goes right there at the top of their U tab. Now I'm going to jump back in to my unpublished my unpublished story birds and I'm going to jump back into Swing Bunny and I'm going to show you how to publish your book once you're all done and I would suggest that you read it at least three times before you publish just to make sure that you have you know put capital letters where they go and periods and all that kind of thing so here we go to menu and I'm gonna choose publish this story bird do you notice how invite somebody has gone away because we did do that so I'm gonna click on publish this story bird and the publishing page comes up. Publishing means you are done, you've done everything with the book, you've edited it, you've read it over, you love how it, you love what it looks like and so you're ready to share it with the world. In the summary you write one sentence about the book. If you have a surprise oops, if you have a surprise ending don't give it away here and tags, that's what uh, the book's about. So it's about a bunny and jealousy. And you write, is this for school or not for school? That's what will come up for you. You click on this is for school. You choose who it's for. It's for everyone. And then hit publish. And the book will be saved. This is Mrs. A. This, is, this has been my screencast on how to use Storybird. I hope you like it. And good luck.